Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm featuring yet another piece from Spinnaker Watches. This one I unboxed uh, on the Facebook page and I was pleased to see that they actually provided a proper box this time rather than uh, influencer packaging which they had tended to uh, send uh, in the last few pieces. So glad to see this. Uh, let's just open this up to show you this particular piece. Uh, now inside the box, nothing but a standard Spinnaker tab. Uh, this one's just a discount uh, brochure and a microfiber cleaning cloth. That's what it came with. Uh, and then let's just open this up from the cushion and show you this particular piece. So guys, this is the Spinnaker Tessai Titanium SP5061 is the uh, model number and this is the O2 version for this particular color variation. Uh, so the, the MSRP is going to be 520 USD, so quite expensive, but the special release price for this couple of weeks during the release period of this watch is 349. Uh, now the Tessai, uh, you know, correct me if I'm pronouncing that wrongly, is named after Teseo Tessai, uh, who was a Italian naval officer credited, uh, I think for inventing a manned uh, torpedo. Um, so that, that's really what it's named after. I think some of the uh, uh, themes are really a little bit arbitrary because I, I think uh, this particular watch uh, probably has nothing uh, directly to do with the person that it's named after. Anyway, inside is actually uh, the Miyota 8215 movement. I'm just going to put the stats here uh, on the left, uh, pause and read it if you want to. Uh, this particular uh, watch has been performing to plus 14 seconds per day, which is within the rated accuracy, probably a little bit faster than I would like it. Uh, I like it, you know, probably within plus 10 seconds per day. Uh, if I'm going to keep this longer, I'd probably open it up and regulate it myself. The case here, uh, the remarkable thing about this Spinnaker is that it's the first one in titanium, um, 43 millimeter diameter case. They made a big deal about spelling out that it is grade 5 titanium but in my understanding grade 5 is the most commonly used titanium and probably one you see in just about any titanium watch that you uh you know come across or will own uh you know i i, I don't know 100 percent about that but in my reading that is most likely the grade titanium that you will see in watches uh, so 43 millimeter diameter 15 millimeters on the thickness there including the top of the crystal uh, 22 millimeter lug width and a lug to lug distance which is uh, pretty sizable in this case it's actually 51 uh, millimeters because it's titanium and it comes in a strap uh, this cordura strap uh, it actually only weighs 86 grams and that is pleasingly light partly thanks to the fact that it is a titanium case with the lightness that it brings right the finishing uh, you've you've seen it as i pan it around is a fully matte sandblasted finishing which I really like actually completely uh, done in that you know that that finishing there's not a single polished surface anywhere to be seen okay uh, screw in display case back you know let you see some of the details around the side there water resistant titanium and uh, whatnot you can see Okay, SP5061 uh, is the model on the side there. Uh, the, the usual stuff, screw in display case back. All right, screw down, etch crown equals 200 meters in total, water resistant rating. Okay, moving on to the dial here. Okay, this is, it's probably difficult to see, but there is a matte texture uh, black dial here, right? Printed chapter ring around the outside there and uh, printed wording uh, on the center there. You can see the automatic uh, titanium and the water rating there. The Spinnaker does have a bit of chrome uh, relief, the brand at, at the top there, uh, but otherwise all those other things are printed. It does have applied uh, rectangular hour markers that you can see uh, surrounding uh, that dial. And the, the loom here is, is described as C5 Super Loom Nova applied into those baton hands as well as the second hand pip and pleasingly also all around uh, the bezel, all 60 minutes of this bezel is loomed in Supernova Nova. Okay, so the bezel itself is 120 click unidirectional. Uh, so just let you hear how it clicks. 
right? Slightly more dampened because of titanium, it tends to kind of uh, have that slightly more dampened feel, actually, all my titanium watches. Uh, in this case, pleasingly, it does have a ceramic insert. So this is a matte uh, ceramic insert that they've uh, gone here uh, with uh, white colored uh, markings, which is again, uh, remind you it's super luminova that glows in the dark, right? 60 minute markings all around, as well as that 12 o'clock uh, pip that you can see there. Okay, above that is a single domed sapphire crystal. With, I think it's got some anti-reflective coating just in my usage, right? They haven't stated it uh, overtly, uh, but that's what I think it probably does have some coating. All right, so that's the case itself. Now, moving on to the band here. The band is actually uh, Quadra, right? The first spinnaker I've seen with Quadra. Almost everything I've reviewed from them has been kind of this cheap leather, but this one, they've gone for a different thing. So stitched and lined with uh, Lorica, uh, which is a type of uh, synthetic leather, artificial leather, all right? The back as well as Lorica leather. Okay, but the top here is kind of this Lorica canvas uh, type of uh, durable uh, type of canvas uh, material here. And the buckle, take a look at that, right? Sandblasted finish with spinnaker there. I assumed it was titanium, uh, but it does say stainless steel at the back here. I wonder if that's a mistake, you know, because it does feel exactly the same as the case, but you know, it says stainless steel there. So I assume that's what it is unless proven otherwise. Okay, so let's just put it on for the wrist shot now. And there is the Spinnaker Tessai automatic dive watch in titanium on my 17 centimeter wrist. Just remember that lug to lug distance is 51 millimeters. So it's on the large side for sure, 43 millimeter diameter watch on the large side. But I think for a casual watch, it's fine for my size wrist. Um, so guys, you know, what have I really liked about this? Well, I think uh, honestly, this is the best materially appointed spinnaker so far. You know, what are you talking about? You're talking about sapphire crystal, ceramic insert on the bezel. I think that's the first one I've seen for spinnaker. You've got quadra strap, another first from spinnaker that I've seen, and you've got titanium, yet another first from them. You know, so I think these upgrades in materials make this one really best material-wise spinnaker ever, you know, at least in my experience, and I've reviewed quite a lot of these watches. And I, I, the design is conservative dive style, right? It, it's, it may be a bit derivative in some of the kind of design cues it takes, but uh, the overall combination I think is relatively original. Let me know if you know of a watch that this one kind of copies a lot of. I don't, I'm not aware of a watch that this directly copies. It's, it's kind of like an original combination of elements here, right? What's the big weakness? Well, I, I think really only one thing right? That movement. For, you know, the asking price is going to be 520 in full retail price. I guess you'll always get this on discount, you know, when you're talking about spinnaker watches. Uh, but, you know, for the price that it's asking for, even at the 300 plus level, you'd hope for something better than a Miyota 8 series movement. You know, even the Seiko NH movement, as they they, they do use a lot of in your watches, or better yet, a Miyota 9 series movement, I think you know, that would really bump this watch up. So unfortunately, uh, I think that's a slight weakness there with uh, an 8 series non-hacking movement in there. And, and then lastly, I'll say, you know, the value proposition at the full price uh, of over 500 is less compelling. You, you know, you're comparing with things like um, Steinhardt, you know, they have some titanium watches with Swiss movements at around that price range. Um, so I think it's difficult to compete at that price. But at sub 400, you know, 350, uh, that is the special release price. I think, you know, I think there's an argument that this is quite possibly one of the cheapest titanium automatic divers you will find. Let me know if you know anything else that compares at that price range. Keep in mind, so it's a sapphire with a ceramic bezel here. All right, guys. So there we go. That's my review of this very interesting Spinnaker Tessai Titanium Watch, uh, something I haven't seen quite in this combination from Spinnaker. Let me know what you think about this particular Spinnaker. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.